medical wear versus civilian wear. Now I've been to a few classes with Jim where when some guys are getting out of their vehicles, I mean they are dressed head to toe. They have on helmets, chest rigs, battle belts, elbow pads, knee pads, gloves, boots, and it all matches in the same camo pattern. Um, is it really necessary for all this? So, and the answer is yes and no. All right. There are, you know, if you're a law enforcement, you're a military guy, you're going to take a training class and you're of course you're going to want to train in the kit that you're going to be deployed in that you're going to be using because you know you're going to a non-permissive environment and you know you're going to need all of the extra protection. All too often guys go to these classes, they're fun and they have a great time, but they're training their mind to think that every time I touch my carbine, I have got to be full up kit. And so if there's ever a situation and you, you pull up to the mall or you pull up somewhere and there's an active shooter situation going and your children are inside the mall and you've got to get to them, um, are you going to take the time to hop out, open your deployment kit, put on your chest rig, put on your battle belt, get your elbow pads and gloves, turn my GoPro on so I make sure I got all this on camera, and then grab your carbine and go? Or are you going to show up and your your flannel shirt and your blue jeans and you're going to recognize what's going on reach in your bag grab your carbine and fight towards the enemy